Hey guys, what's up? It's another J Rob 447 video back at it again. And today we got some NCAA basketball 10. And yes, it is the Hofstra Dynasty. You guys all have been asking for this series. And it is finally back. Yes, it is finally back. And we're going with Hofstra because, you know, it's a team that I like. Uh, actually, as I said before, I actually know one of the players personally. Uh, and I thought it would be fun. So. I'm not going to have the same appearance as last time, so I said, why not switch it up? You know, when in doubt, go bald. All right, so I'm doing any team I choose. I'm going up-tempo, and I got to pick the roster file because uh, I put in the names and, like, customize them. The only thing that's a problem with this is everybody has their right class except the sophomores. So pretty much, like, like two sophomores, they're in the wrong class. They should actually be sophomores but in the game I could only put them as freshmen so the way that I'm gonna compensate is if they are juniors that senior season I'm gonna have to cut them from the team and that's exactly what I'm gonna do because that is the only way to be fair so anyway we're gonna go with the all-conference difficulty you know gotta keep it there uh, it's pretty challenging uh, I might say the least but you know I still get the job I was, I was still getting the job done with that difficulty come on son so season preview for the 2009 this game came out in 2009 come on son but yeah we're basically gonna be in the middle of the pack that's what everybody predicts us to be in the middle of the pack of our division uh you know old dominion they're they're good in this game to be honest and as you guys can see Dion nesmith he's a senior He's going to be the best player on this team. I mean, Tankley, he's a junior. And Wanye Green, he's also a junior. All those people are all transfers. Wanye Green out of Niagara. I mean, Tankley out of Niagara. Deion Nesmith, he's out of Monmouth. And Musa Kone, he's been a senior. He's been with this team. Corey Riddle, he's going to be a guy that I'm, I'm just going to cut from the team because uh, technically he's not a guy that even plays for Hofstra. Now, there are two point guards that do play for Hofstra. That aren't on the squad, Adam Savion and Noah Woods. But I didn't put him in the game simply because I did not see them for the first three games of the season on the bench with Hofstra. And one player, Ibrahim Dejambo, uh, technically he's not playing right now. I have no idea why. But at this point, Hofstra only has three forwards, three big men. And uh, a fourth is really needed, so I just put him in. Anyway, Alil Gonzalez, he actually redshirted his freshman season. Uh, he's got some nice dribble moves. I'm not going to front. I saw him his first game. He was just trying to shake the man out of his boots. And Hofstra, they like to um, recruit people, you know, uh, internationally. Rokas Gusti, he, technically he graduated from Oak Hill Academy, but he is from Lithuania. And Ibrahim Dejambo, he's out of Niger not Nigeria, but Mali. Uh, you know, if you guys don't know what Mali is, it's a country in Africa, not the drug. All right, guys. Also, uh, who else? Daryl Folks, he's a walk-on. I, I don't think he, I think he might be a walk-on. I'm not sure about that. I have to get that checked. But this is basically our uh, season. And the one thing I do not like is I, I was trying to schedule a um, game against a ranked opponent. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry. We, we don't want to, like, mess up our rpi if we lose to you guys man if you don't stop being pussy bro we just want to play are you gonna let us play or no because like to be honest with you after last year they played louisville and they got schmizzacked they got schmacked okay and did louisville care they they didn't care they didn't care about messing up their rpi or bpi now recently hofstra played in nc state and they gave nc state a handful that game, it was closer than NC State really wanted it to be, but Hofstra still ended up on the losing end. It was a terrible shooting night for both teams. They both shot like around 30%, but they still ended up getting in like the 60s and 70s, which is crazy, but there was a lot of fouls in that game. And uh, also this game, I turned down the foul frequency to 25, because at 50, there's basically a foul every other possession, and I'm not with the shits with that. So I said to myself, you know, that's not going to make the game exciting at all. That's going to make it boring. That's going to wear the game out. And I know that's not what you guys came here to see. A bunch of foul calls. 
So I turned the foul frequency down a lot because, you know, I know you guys would get tired of that. So anyway, we're going into our training camp. And basically, we got to focus on a few key things. Our big men, we need to get them conditioning because there's only four of them. Basically three because Dijambo really can't play. Uh, but we really got to develop these guys. And our, our bench isn't that bad. Malik Nichols, uh, who else is on the bench? Brian Bernardi, he is really, he can shoot the lights out, man. Uh, Jamal Robinson, he's great. He's another great player as well. So those people really got to look out for. So they're telling me I got to sign a center and a power forward. And I have no problem with that. Uh, you know, to be honest, they're saying get a small forward as well. The reason, the thing is though, we don't really need a small forward because Malik Nichols, he's a um, swing man. So is uh, Emine Tanksley. So they both could play that small forward position pretty well. But hey, it doesn't hurt to have a freshman small forward in there to play. So, you know, we're not... We're not going to, you know, totally disregard that. So we're doing a little recruiting right now. Just picking picking our spots, see who, we, who can, um, you know, match our team's play style. Uh, I don't know why they have a lot of undersized um, power forwards. But to be honest, I think that's kind of realistic. Because in real life, that's how it is. There's a lot of undersized um, big men in high school. So, you know, I, I can't front the real, realism in this game. But anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, and peace.